Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the Australian Open schedule is officially out. We have all the tournaments that are happening in Australia in January, not February like last year. It's actually happening in January this year. Everything seems to be going to plan. We still don't know what players are going to be playing, but we can talk about that in another video. But let's go look at the schedule now because it's officially out, and a lot of tournaments are being played. So we start the year off with the ATP Cup. It's happening all in Sydney this year. So two years ago or three years ago, when it first started, it was played over three different states and three different cities, and then all played in the final was going to happen in Sydney. Last year, an abbreviated tournament happened in Melbourne. This year, it's all happening in Sydney. It looks like a full tournament because it starts on the 1st of January, so New Year's Day, until the 9th of January. So a long tournament there. They're also going to have an ATP tournament during that time, an ATP 250 in Adelaide in the first week of January. And also Adelaide are going to host a WTA 500 event. And there's also going to be three more events happening in Melbourne during that first week. So starting on the 3rd until the 9th of January, we're going to have two WTA 250 events in Melbourne and also an ATP 250 event as well. So First week of the year, we're going to have three WTA tournaments and three ATP tournaments all happening at the same time over three different cities. So it's a huge start to the year for the Australian Open calendar. Then from the 9th until the 15th, which is sort of the week between those first big tournaments and then the Australian Open starting, we have the Sydney Classic, which is an ATP 250 and a WTA 500 event. So another massive event for the women, and also another Adelaide International event, which will comprise of two tournaments, a WTA 250 and an ATP 250. So again, the second week of January, we've got four massive events again in Australia happening. Also during that time, we also have the Australian Open qualifying as well. So that'll happen towards the end of those tournaments or second half of those weeks. And then of course the Australian Open starts on the 17th of January all the way to the 30th of January. And that'll be happening as scheduled. You know, no pushback. It's not going to February like it was this year. It'll stay in its slot. But there is a lot of tournaments in the first two weeks of the season. So there it is. The schedule for the Australian summer. Now, of course, there are tournaments going on around the world at other places as well. Um, like we had Abu Dhabi happen at the start of the year this year in January. I think we had a couple of tournaments over in America as well. But this is just the Australian portion. And look, let's be honest, all the players playing in the Australian Open will be going to these events. So that's why these are the most important ones. But let me know down in the comments below. Is it too much? Is there too much tennis to start the year off? Personally, I don't think there's ever too much tennis. I think that's perfect. But it's going to be a lot to watch. We're going to be watching a lot of different courts all at the same time. Of course, the ATP Cup being the biggest tournament out of those bunch. But there's a couple of WTA 500 events as well, which will be having the big names. So the Australian Summer of Tennis, it's been set. There's a lot of tournaments to cover in January.